Hello, vinyl community. Usually, receiving packages like this is a happy occasion. I, as you can see, I just got home from work, and uh, when I was driving into the driveway, by the doorway, I saw um, two of these three boxes. And ordinarily, I'd be very thrilled and excited, but I was not happy one bit. Um, because even though we're here in Southern California, it does rain once in a while. Um, I don't know, was it the post office? Yeah, it was the post office. It, I don't know why the mail carrier would put packages on the ground when it's raining. Um, yeah, not too sure about that. Um, what their reasoning is. It's been raining all day, so you you would think, and they could clearly see the ground was wet. <laughs> Plus we have a mailbox that these would fit in. Uh, I think they would fit in them. Anyway, um, I considered taking these to the post office before opening them, just to kind of say, you know what, these were damaged by the post office. Um, I. I probably should, but, you know, I, I doubt they would do anything anyway, because it's the post office. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, this is going to be probably at least partly a, a sad unboxing, at least one of them. One of them I peeked in, and there's very little protection on the record. Uh, the other one is actually a box inside a box, so that one I have hope. And... That one was the more expensive one, too, so, yeah. <laughs> so that's good. And then the third one uh, came when it was nice and sunny, so. All right, so let's get to the worst of these first. <laughs> so I'll sit that one down, and that one down. Yes, this is the one. As you can, oh, yeah, you can see it. It's still wet. Um, the box is pretty, uh, pretty soggy. And I... Uh, just the corner there, I can I can see the record, and I feel it, and it's kind of, even it's kind of damp. So, um, all right, well, let's see how this goes. Oh, I forgot to show you the, the ironic part. These are the stickers that they put on it. Yeah, keep dry. I guess the post office can't read. Um, actually, I, honestly, I think when when you put stickers on there, like fragile, and I I don't think they even pay attention to any of that. Um, I really don't. I think they're so far removed from even caring that it doesn't even doesn't even face them. But it's. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So, not a not a nice thing to come home to. Ordinarily, I would pre-open this on, you know, um, uh, <laughs> not looking forward to this. Not looking forward to this. The invoice is fairly dry, just ever so slightly damp. The funny thing is. They did put cardboard and some plastic, but not entirely. Well, actually, huh. Interesting. It doesn't. It's. 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 I don't know what I was feeling. But it's it's a, a, a sign from God. <laughs> it's not that wet. Plus, it's it's still sealed. I forgot this one was was um, wrapped in plastic. So um, yes, yes. So that's that's good. That's good. Um, <clears throat> this crazy picture, kind of scary, um, is uh, wild birds and peace drums. Um, Five new songs recorded in Reykjavik, Reykjavik uh, by Ben Frost. 
Um, part two of a set of two vinyl only EPs. Worldwide numbered limited edition of 1600, cut from high quality 24 bit masters and pressed on white vinyl. Ooh, I didn't know that. Th th uh, this might be my first white vinyl, actually. Um, yeah. Awesome. So, I don't know what I was feeling. I thought I was feeling this and it felt damp. Ah, oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. But look, that's very interesting. I forget how I discovered them. Wild birds and peace drums. Um, I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't remember. But anyway, we have a few more to do. So th that that gives me that gives me some hope. That gives me some hope. All right, now this next one. This one I actually learned about. Yeah, this is what I think it is. This one I actually learned about um, as I was listening to Michael Cole's um, internet radio show um, on progrock.com. Um, I think right now he's doing it every other Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday. I think Tuesday. And... Um, this uh, this band has sort of an indirect connection to Genesis. Yes. Now this is this is very well packaged. Very well packaged. They they even put corners on it. Wow. Very impressed with this. Yes, this I am very excited about. So the connection to um, Genesis is Phil Collins has a son. And of course, I'm drawing a blank on his son's name. <laughs> but nice, nice. Yes. This is Sound of Contact, Dimension Odd. And uh, this is on uh, Inside Out. And um, yeah, I think this actually came out last year. Um, definitely some prog rock to it. Um, it's a double LP and includes. Oh my goodness. And includes a, a CD. Can you can you believe it? The the record wasn't damaged. Yeah, I forgot it was wrapped in plastic. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm very happy. <laughs> and um, yeah, ah, I wish I could. let me see if I can bring it up real quick. Um, yes, so he. Michael Cole played a song from this album. I believe it was the single from this album um, on his radio show, and I really loved it. I was like, wow. And then plus there's the Phil Collins Genesis connection. So I was I was all over it, and yeah. Um, where am I? Um, let's see. I think it's soundofcontact.com. That's their website. Yes. And you would think they would have an about page, but um, I'm not seeing that. Interesting. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Yeah, but if you like prog rock, I definitely recommend it. Let's see. All music. Um, sound of contact. Madeline, leave it. Madeline, leave it. She likes to go after the cat, so. Um, yes. Um, all music. 
to well, let's go to the sound of contact. Yeah, so I'm on allmusic.com uh, now. Um, why do they not have information about the band? All right, well, it's no longer worth it. <laughs> I'm spending way too much time on that. Um, but trust me, Phil Collins' son is in the band, Sound of Contact. And this is their LP. So, double LP. And there's a CD copy of it as well. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited about that. All right, and then one more. One more. And this is the one that came when it was nice and sunny and yes but I'm so pleased that those were not um, not damaged I don't know how but because the boxes were completely drenched on one end but I think it's truly a blessing from God <laughs> you know God loves vinyl too <laughs> oh yes All right, so here is the last one. It's a newspaper. No. <laughs> I don't even remember what this is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Eurythmics. Revenge. Very nice. Check out the, the original sleeve with the yeah the lyrics. The previous two records were were new. And this one is used. It does have some scratches. Um, I'm doing the fingernail test. Seems okay. But this is one of those that I'm gonna have to play like right away before um you know, in case I need to say, hey, this is not the condition that you advertised. Yeah, it has some scratches, some more scratches than I would like, but um yeah, we'll see how it does. But it was cheap, so I don't remember exactly how much, but it was it was cheap, so yeah, there it is. You read the mix revenge. All right, well, all is not lost. Actually, nothing's lost. <laughs> so we have Eurythmics um, revenge. We have sound of contact. Uh, Dimension on, and. Wild Birds and Peace Drums, Iris. Yeah, very, very cool. All right, well, I'll leave you with, with this beautiful face here. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.